was taking a walk before work the other day with a friend of mine. Great way to get out of the house and do a bit of socializing in lockdown. We were talking about the effect of COVID on our businesses. He just went freelance right ahead of lockdown. And he was telling me that actually things are going really well. He's just landed a whole lot of new clients. And he was saying it did it through LinkedIn Sales Navigator integrated with his CRM system. So I've been in the sales game for most of my career. And I've worked for companies like JD Edwards and Deloitte and & Touche and Microsoft. For the last 16 years, I've been working with Microsoft's CRM tools, Dynamics 365. So in December 2016, Microsoft acquired LinkedIn. It's the biggest tech deal that's ever been done. And they've been working to integrate their products. Social selling is right on point with this rapidly digitally transformed world that we're in post COVID. And the sales game especially is one that's been badly affected. So Nucleus Research did some analysis on the benefits of Microsoft's combined product. They determined a 12 to 15% productivity increase for people using it, 30% increase in win rates on sales, and a overall 87% increase year on year for the people using it. So let's take a look at Microsoft Relationship Sales. So this is the combination of Dynamics 365 Sales and LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So you probably already know that Dynamics 365 Sales is Microsoft's sales solution as part of their customer engagement application. So it features sales management reporting, opportunity pipelines, including sales insights, which is relationship information coming from not only the information in Dynamics 365 captured by your salespeople, but also from Office 365, including Outlook, Teams, and Documents. Also features forecasting capabilities, allowing you to see who's generating your revenue, where it's coming from, and when it's going to close. Sales Navigator then is LinkedIn's business sales application. One of the key features of it is the ability to put together searches. So in this case, I'm searching, for example, in my region, in financial services, insurance, and investment management. And then I can put in the seniority level of the people that I'm looking for. I can put in their business function. In my case, I said I'm looking for people in business development, information technology, marketing, and sales. And you'll see there's quite a lot that you can query on here. And in this case, it's telling me I'm gonna have more than a thousand results. So I can search and then I can save these searches. So those show up in my saved lists here. So for example, in this list, I can then see all of the people involved. This gives me a couple of things. The one is for each of these people, I can view their profile and any of the information LinkedIn has about them. But on my home screen, I then get a feed of any relevant information. Uh, related to these people and the companies they work for. And as a salesperson, this is an invaluable tool. Knowing what's happening, what's new, having something to talk about when you're engaging with prospects uh, and having an insight into what's going on in their industries and in their world is invaluable. Now with Dynamics 365 integrated to Sales Navigator, there's a couple of extra things you get. One is automatically all of your leads and accounts and contacts for opportunities in your pipeline get injected automatically into Sales Navigator. And this what, what this means is that all of the information about these people is already in, in Sales Navigator and in that home feed, any information related to them is going to be pushed to that feed as well. But the other thing you can do
you'll see this little CRM link next to anybody that's integrated with Dynamics 365. And I can actually click on that button and it opens up that contact person in Dynamics 365. How cool is that? We also get this LinkedIn Sales Navigator tab. Actually, these little widgets, as they're called, you can put anywhere on your forms. Uh, Dynamics 365 is configurable. And this is telling me information about the person, Andre, about his company, and allowing me to send messages to him. So you can see that I get icebreakers, such as the fact that we have a couple of shared connections. We both work at the same company. We've both been to the University of Cape Town. And we're both part of 10 groups on LinkedIn. I can also get introduced on LinkedIn. So in this case, I can ask Lionel at Microsoft, who also knows Andre, for an introduction. One of the key features here is TeamLink. So for example, if I take a look at the company that Andre works for, Mint, here I'm seeing people at Mint that I know. These are my connections. But here, these are another 115 connections that are from people inside my TeamLink network. So I've connected with all of my colleagues on that are on Sales Navigator as a team. And I'm able to leverage their relationships that they have on LinkedIn, both in terms of referrals and in terms of my searches uh, through LinkedIn. Your LinkedIn Sales Navigator license gives you in-mails. So these are messages that are, you can send directly to other LinkedIn members. And you get a certain number of credits for these every month. You can't send messages directly to someone over LinkedIn unless you get these in-mail credits. And in this case, you can see the history of previous messages I've sent and the ability to hit this tick box. So if I type up a message here and hit tick, when I send that, what happens in Dynamics is you get an, an activity such as this one. So this is a message which is stored in Dynamics 365. We can also get related leads. So in this case, these are people similar to Andre that I may be interested in and may help me in my sales efforts. And I can also save them to Sales Navigator from here, straight from within Dynamics. They're going to then show up in those saved lists that I showed you. There's also a feature on Sales Navigator called Smart Links. In this case, I've uploaded a proposal. I can get to a copy of it. And then if I email that in a normal email and I put in a link, what happens is the person on the other side is actually logging on to it. And then we can see that they've logged on and how long they viewed it for. We actually get an alert as well in our feed. And we get an email notification as well saying that somebody is busy viewing our proposal and who they are. If they forward that mail to a colleague uh, and that colleague logs on, we're also going to be able to see that they review this information. So this is a powerful capability. If you share sales collateral material with people and you're interested in who's viewing it, this is a great way to do that. It's important to mention maybe that there are a couple of LinkedIn premium features. So if you've got a normal LinkedIn license, people that you view are going to see your profile. With LinkedIn premium, you don't, you can turn that off. So in other words, nobody's going to know that you've been viewing their profile. Conversely, with LinkedIn premium, you can see who's being viewed your profile. Now the key feature is data validation. So you'll see in my contacts list, we have this list called all contacts not at company. So these are contacts where LinkedIn doesn't agree with the company that is populated in Dynamics 365. When we look at our opportunity pipeline, this is called opportunities at risk. And they're at risk because potentially someone has left the company. The other place you see this is on the organizational chart in Dynamics 365. So you can see this person here is in red because the company I've got them in Dynamics 365 doesn't match what's on LinkedIn. There's also usage reporting in Sales Navigator. So you can see who's using the system. Searches that are performed, 
profiles they've viewed, leads they've saved, and accounts, and lists. Look, also see if they're sending in-mail messages. And in fact, there is a Power BI set of dashboards, which provides some pretty rich information about all of this information. It's also a social selling index and how that's changing over time based on your LinkedIn information. There is also a sales navigator mobile app. So all of this information is then available on your, on your phone, including the ability to actually phone people from this app. So it actually pops up and it says, do you want to record this? Do you want to keep a record of the fact that you made this phone call? And it gives you the but a little button to say tick for CRM. And then it actually adds that to the person's record in Dynamics 365 against their timeline view. There's also notes and tags in Sales Navigator. So you can keep your lists organized by putting in some tags, categorizing people in different ways that suits you. Um, you can also put in notes of things that are important. Those notes actually synchronize again back to Dynamics 365. So I think you'll agree these are incredible features. I've been using them for a while now and I must say they really do improve my productivity. They do definitely give me insights that I didn't have before about my prospects. It's amazing what you learn. I really hope you found this useful. If you did, why don't you like it on YouTube and share it with anybody that you think would get value from this. And thanks very much for watching.